We're going to talk to you about food in the backcountry. Now, you need calories to burn calories. You can't go out there expecting to eat a couple granola bars throughout the day or uh, an oatmeal in the morning and, you know, you're going to be able to perform throughout the entire day. Because a lot of this is, the backcountry is, is, you know, a lot of hiking. You might put 10 to 14, 15, some people put 20 miles on a day. To do that kind of, of work, you need the calorie input to support it. Otherwise, you're going to be you're just going to be exhausted at the end of the day. So we're going to kind of touch base on some of the things that we take in the backcountry uh, for our meals. Now, a, a Jet Boil. Now, a Jet Boil is a brand, but there are other cooking stoves out there uh, similar to this one. And this is it, it's it's very essential if you are using. The dehydrated meals you need something to heat up the water with a jet boil and we just use jet boil because we, we like it um, there are others that are just as good there's there's nothing wrong with the other ones um, you're gonna come with this is just like a little cup measuring cup for your one cup you have the actual burner slides right on Here's your little fuel canisters. Um, you can buy these, they're pretty cheap. Gotta make sure your little flap is turned out. Screws right on there. Simply turn it on. And, uh, and shake nice, just like that. And this will boil water in, in like seconds. I mean, it, it takes no time at all. In the higher altitudes, it takes longer to boil the water. Um, and this 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 takes care of that. It, it boils water in no time. Now you're going to apply it to your dehydrated meals. One of the biggest, obviously, is Mountain House. Mountain House makes a lot of really good dehydrated meals. This one's uh, freeze dried rice and chicken, um, and they have great desserts. They have uh, beef. They have chicken. They have pork. They have all kinds of things that uh, meals. Um, that are really really good so all you do is open up your your top boil your water once your water is boiling you pour it into here it has a resealable top on it seal it up let it sit for a few minutes uh, 10 minutes or whatnot and it uh, rehydrates all the food in there heats it up gets it nice and good um, another option <clears throat> with a jet boil or a stove cook um, is ramen noodles you can take and put your meals in just a, a gallon Ziploc bag. Inside you'll have your, your ramen noodle with your flavor packet. And then you can also have, I don't have one here with me right now, but you can also have an instant mashed potato. Take your ramen noodle, uh, crush it all up. I like to crush it up. You can leave it whole, but I like to crush it all up. Throw it into the bottom with your, your uh, flavor packet. Put your instant mashed potatoes in and you do about two or three cups of water, boil it, put it into your gallon Ziploc bag, seal it up, let it sit for, you know, five minutes, and you have an awesome meal. And it's super cheap. These are like a dollar a piece. Your instant mashed potatoes are like a dollar a piece. That's probably your cheapest route. Um, you're not getting your meat. That's the problem. You're not getting your proteins. Uh, Freeze-dried meat that you can just throw in with it. Um, my wife did that last year. She had chicken that she threw in. Um, you can do it that way too. Now, your another option are MREs. Now, MREs are uh, bigger, heavier to pack in, but this one individual packet right here honestly could feed you for an entire day. Uh, the other thing is you don't need a jet boil for these MREs. They have already inside them, they have a... Uh, self-heating element so basically it takes it takes just a very small I'll bet you it's less than a quarter of a cup of water in the bottom of a bag you slip your your main entree in there and you tip it upside down you get the water to it once it's activated with water it heats up so that's kind of the cool thing about the MREs is you don't need a jet boil so you're not packing that and there's more and there's more in this pack than, than what's in just a mountain house but they are heavier and they're bigger you know more to pack but otherwise 
just your throughout the day to day it's good to have protein bars um trail mixes anything that's high on protein high on protein or even carbs you know those are things that's going to give you energy throughout the day um stay away from like junk food and stuff like that a lot of your sugars they'll give you do they give you a lot of energy right now but then you crash afterwards so try to get your energies from your proteins and your carbs and stuff like that which can be done through trail mixes beef jerky is a huge one uh stuff that's light but the packs a lot of protein and nutrients. Um, that's that's the best thing that you can do. So that's kind of the gist on backcountry eating. And like I said, you got MREs. You can do mountain houses, dehydrated meals, or you can go simple as ramen noodles and and uh, um, instant mashed potatoes. But uh, so that's uh, that's our tip for today on uh, something in the backcountry.